Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just a little while ago, I made a, a video about the impact tool and using the weld and trim tool to get this design. So I thought I'd do a video for people with that don't have X8 and above and how you could create this. I actually created this without the impact tool. You just need to make a symmetrical line. Now, I uh, will have to admit with impact tool, you do get some other options and line styles, but we're going to you can almost duplicate. It's just going to take you a little longer. So we're going to zoom in here. We're going to get an indexing line where we hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to get my two point line. I'm going to hold down my control button. I'm going to put it in the center of the page. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that. My duplicate offset is, is 0.25. For just a second, I'm going to group these. Control G. I'm going to press P and put, or P and put them in the center of the page. I'm going to bring another indexing line down about there. I'm going to ungroup these with control U. I'm going to zoom in on my other indexing line and I'm going to take my shape tool and I'm going to add a node right there. I'm going to add another node right there. So I've got two nodes that are symmetrical. And the reason I'm doing the, in, the indexing lines because now I can take this node and bring it over and it'll snap to that guideline. So that's symmetrical. Now I'm going to do the same at the bottom. And this, I mean, even if you're never going to draw with the impact tool, uh, this would maybe give you a little insight on how to make something symmetrical on a line like this. Now we've got a little bit of a sharp line. Now we're going to take and just remove our indexing lines. We don't need them anymore. I'm going to take, whoop. I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool. Whoop. Well, we'll just leave the indexing line for right now. I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool. I'm going to fill in that shape. I'm going to make it black so it shows up good. Now we can remove our indexing line. This shape now is welded together as a solid line. You could now, you could actually make it a little thicker uh, or do anything you want with it. Look, we're going to make it a little bit thicker for the video. I'm going to press P, I'm going to hold down the control button, and I'm going to move it up. Now I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Let's zoom in here a little bit. I've got a duplicate. I'm going to take my rotation. I'm going to put it to that node. I'm going to rotate it 5 degrees. Control D, 10 degrees. Sometimes Corel does it, sometimes it doesn't. Do it. Now once you've got duplicate, you can move it around. And you have a impact type shape. Now you do need to group these together. Control G. Go up to object and convert them to a curve. Let's put it in the center of the page. Get our heart put it in the center of the page. Let's take our item and move it to the back of the page so our heart shows up. Now we need to click on our heart. Hold down the shift key and click on our impact drawing. And hit the trim tool. Now the trim tool is taking away the inside and you have that same effect as the impact tool does. And you don't have as much control, but you could change it. So if you don't have Corel X8 and above and you'd like to try it uh, and get that effect and, and you could do that with any line. I'm just trying to really emphasize the weld tool but the trim tool on the weld side. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.